3DS Max and Cinema 4D are two of the most active 3D software today in many industries. They are used by many artists and studios to work on different types of projects. In this video, we will take a quick look at both of them and give you an overview of what these two pieces of software are capable of and what they have to offer. The VFX Industry When it comes to visual effects for film, 3DS Max can handle several stages of the pipeline and can be relied on to work on complicated scenes with millions of polygons in real time. And it is very good for simulations using third-party plugins such as Thinking Particles, Fume Effects, and Phoenix FD. And these plugins are great for generating lots of different effects like fire, smoke, water, destruction effects, and so on. Autodesk lately is making progress in 3DS Max's ability to create fluid simulations in the latest releases. Even though artists and studios rely on their own tools or commercial plugins to create simulation effects, developing the native simulation tools for 3ds Max is a good step forward nonetheless. There are a lot of big studios that are using 3ds Max currently in their pipelines to create amazing VFX heavy movies. Movies have been created such as Avatar, 2012, The Last Airbender, and lots of X-Men movies. Some of the studios that are using 3ds Max are Hocus Pocus Studios, FuseFX, Scaleline VFX, and ILM. And what makes 3ds Max suitable for VFX work is its ease of use and the number of plugins that can give a much better result compared to relying on 3ds Max tools alone. Cinema 4D is also a 3D package that can be used for visual effects and some of the things that Cinema 4D offers to VFX artists is its amazing motion tracking tools which allows them to track and solve a shot using the motion tracker. Also it has important tools for animating geometry and cameras, creating materials and lighting 3D shots. Some of the best VFX heavy movies that were created using Cinema 4D are Spider-Man 3, Inception, Tron Legacy and Pacific Rim just to name a few. In addition to that, a lot of short films and amateur work is produced using this 3D program because it is very well equipped for this type of work. Also, a lot of VFX studios, small and large, rely on Cinema 4D to do a lot of work that is usually outsourced from bigger projects like movies or TV series. Advertising Advertising is a big market for studios and artists using Cinema 4D that focus on this type of work. It is used to produce professional TV commercials for some of the biggest brands and companies in the world. One point we want to emphasize about Cinema 4D is the use of motion graphics in creating TV commercials or advertisements in general, and that makes Maxon Cinema 4D very desirable in this industry. There are also studios in the industry using 3ds Max in the same way that 3ds Max can handle different entertainment and design projects, and it is used to produce professional TV commercials for some of the biggest brands also. It can be used for pre-visualization, modeling, animation, effects, simulations, rendering, and so on. But I would say that Cinema 4D is more appealing for this type of work because 3ds Max is not equipped enough to help artists to do everything that is necessary to complete this type of work unless they use third-party plugins to help them out with motion graphics. Game development Making video games is one of the best things that 3ds Max is known for. And this has been the case since a very long time back in the 90s and the early 2000s, when it was used to create some of the most iconic games in the history of game development, like Warcraft, Tomb Raider, and Halo games. For the most part, 3ds Max is used in the game development industry to create assets and for animation work. It is very good for creating high-quality video game assets and modular game environments, which is almost everything you see in a video game. Also, some of the best studios rely on 3ds Max in part to create some of the most amazing video game cinematics such as Blur and Unit Image. There are actually a lot of game studios around the world that use 3ds Max in their pipelines because it has proven over the years that it can do good work and handle big projects. This software is trusted by game development artists and a lot of professionals use it to get their job done. Also, a lot of indie developers use 3ds Max even though there is software that is for free which is Blender. I believe this is the case because pipelines have been built over the years around it which means it became game development friendly by having all the necessary tools 
and the support needed to produce good quality video games. Also, a lot of indie developers actually have industry experience, which means they worked for video game development studios before and now they are trying to work on their own games and there isn't a better choice for them than to use Max because they know it in and out. Using Cinema 4D in game development has its limitation, but it does not mean that it is not possible to make video games using it. A lot of Cinema 4D artists did small studio development for indie computer or mobile games and they usually use it all throughout the process where a 3D application is required. They use it for modeling, UV mapping, rigging, animating characters or animals, level design, character design and so on. Architectural visualization and design. For this type of work, 3ds Max is an excellent software due to the fact that Autodesk, the developers of the software, have been creating the best computer-aided design software since the 1980s, which means that they made sure that 3ds Max is good for architects and designers. Also, a lot of architects and architecture firms rely on 3ds Max to get their work done because it is easy to use and it has robust modeling and rendering tools also, the huge amount of plugins available for 3ds Max users for this type of work allows them to take their results to the next level. 3ds Max is especially used for architecture and design work because it can be simple enough for people that don't have a lot of experience in 3D modeling and rendering. Also, it can be used for big projects by professional architects and architecture firms. Design and architectural visualization work is about modeling and rendering for the most part, and those two are probably the best points of strength for 3ds Max, and using its semi-procedural modeling tools makes it faster and easier. Also, a lot of designers and architectural visualization artists rely on Cinema 4D to get their work done because of its ease of use and rendering and modeling tools, in addition to the huge amount of plugins available for Cinema 4D users, which allows them to generate high-quality results. Even though Cinema 4D can be used for this type of work, 3ds Max is dominating this area and it has more users and more resources out there. Modeling 3ds Max is a very good 3D package for modeling work because it has been equipped with ton of modifiers that can make modeling a breeze. Cinema 4D is also a good 3D modeling software that can be used to model pretty much anything. Both of these two software have actually a lot of third-party plugins that can be used to speed up the modeling process, so when it comes to modeling, they are both great. Animation Even though 3ds Max is not known for animation, it can deliver great results nonetheless. Big studios rely on it to get most, if not all, the animation work, such as Ubisoft Assassin's Creed Studios that used it to work on all the Assassin's Creed franchise, which is known for its great navigation and fighting mechanics. It is not good like Maya, but it is good enough when it comes to animation. Maxon, actually the developers of Cinema 4D, made a significant progress in recent years, which allowed animators to do their jobs easily compared to what it was before. Motion Graphics Cinema 4D is the best 3D package hands down when it comes to motion graphics, because it has a robust tool set that can help motion graphics artists to generate amazing results using a palette of powerful tools that can make it easy to create everything from flying logos, abstract effects, clone numerous objects and create extra text in a short period of time with much more ease compared to other 3D software. It is possible to add effectors to the mix and put everything in motion and much more, often without creating a single keyframe. All of this is perfectly integrated into Cinema 4D and offers a fast and easy workflow. And the good thing is that all the functions are completely interactive. 3ds Max, on the other hand, is capable of creating motion graphics especially with the help of some plugins, but Cinema 4D makes it easier. Also, it is just more motion graphics friendlier than 3ds Max. Rendering for rendering, 3ds Max has the render engine Arnold, which is a great render engine that was originally created for it. Then finally, it came back to it after Autodesk bought it and became the default for both 3ds Max and Maya. In addition to that, there are great render engines that can achieve outstanding results like V-Ray, Octane, and Redshift, just to name a few. Some of them are new and others have been around for a long period of time. 
Max on the company that owns Cinema 4D acquired Redshift in 2019, which allows it to be available for Cinema 4D users, in addition of course to the other render engines. When it comes to rendering, I would say that Max and Cinema 4D can pretty much offer equal services, whether it be using their own render engines or using third-party plugins. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.